My name is Charlie Smith. I'm a chief pilot on the MetLife Snoopy 2 airship. Uh, we're in town here in Phoenix uh, to cover the Waste Management Open for the PGA Tour. Uh, we're currently based out here at Goodyear Airport, which is about 20 miles southwest of the Golf Course. Uh, we're just uh, we're out here in the morning getting ready to take flight and go uh, go over the course so we can get a little footage, get some uh, pictures of the course and take a look at what it's uh, looked like today. Um, as you can see behind me now, we have our ground crew getting set up, doing our pre-flight. Uh, we're just, uh, we have a crew of 13 who travel with us year-round and uh, we you know, stay with the operation wherever we move throughout the uh, country. Uh, right now they're, uh, they're adding fuel and getting, getting the engines and the ship prepared as we do every day for flight. And uh, in about 10 minutes we'll be ready to uh, take off and uh, head towards the course. Tell us some things that we wouldn't know about your ship and about the doing the uh, traveling that you do. Uh, whenever we travel, uh, the blimp flies everywhere. Uh, we don't we don't pack it away or store it and move it on the ground. We actually fly it from city to city. And while the ship is flying, the uh, ground crew will take all of our equipment. Uh, we'll take our mast and all of our other equipment, load it into our trailers, and drive to the next city. Uh, we can't use just any airport. Uh, we actually have to plan ahead and use uh, specific airports that have large open areas for us to operate in. So planning and uh, setting up airports that are close to our venues is, uh, is a bit of a challenge sometimes if it's, uh, if it's really far away. Um, we, we, uh, we cannot land without a crew of uh, at least eight people for each day, uh, takeoffs or landings. Uh, so we have to have this entire crew out here for every operation we use. If the wind comes up, what are your contingency plans? Uh, about 20 miles an hour is our cutoff for, for our wind speed, uh, but if for some reason it picks up more, we have a, a set of spare equipment that our ground crew can take with us, and uh, if, if the need arises, we can, we can take that and, and drive downwind towards another airport or another open land. And uh, we, we have a lot of procedures in place in case uh, things come up otherwise. What, since you were here last year, what are some more interesting things that, have, that you've done? Well, we've been all over. Uh, we, we, uh, we, we spent uh, the summer last year traveling up, up, uh, up in the Midwest, uh, all the way up in uh, the New England area, down into, uh, down into Georgia, and, and never in between. Uh, so it's been, been a pretty exciting year, just uh, following golf tournaments around. Last fall, we started filming some NFL games out on the West Coast. It's been, it's been a lot of fun uh, traveling uh, quite a few miles this year. How many miles can you travel per day? Like going from here to Monterey, how many miles a day will you do? Uh, from here to Monterey for next week's tournament, uh, we're going to try to make it in two days if we can. Uh, just depends on what the weather's doing.